photographer, man. Just not an outward appearance, unless you're dressed in drag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, man, I mean, if someone was dressed in drag, ain't no hope for nobody like that. yeah, man, ain't no hope for nobody like that. That's not what that scripture's talking about. What it's talking about is you don't judge people because they look like they're in a low state. Or like we was trying to tell that uh, the the Ugandan up here that we kept spitting. Uh, we try to tell his ass you can't judge people by the way they look or judge them by where they're from or what language they speak. I'll go ahead. Yeah. Okay, um, uh, one and 37. Um, I take to witness the place of the, of the people to come whose little ones rejoice in gladness and though they have not seen me with bodily eyes, Yet in spirit they believe the things that I say. I wasn't paying attention. Read, read, again. read again. I'm sorry. I was in. I was thinking about it. Let, um, I take to witness the grace of the people to come, whose little ones rejoice in gladness, and though they have not seen me with bodily eyes, yet in spirit they believe the things that I say. Yeah, in spirit, because everything we do is in the spirit, man. Like that, like Romans eight. Is that? Romans 8 where it said uh, we know who the spirit, through the spirit we know who the sons of God are, not through the flesh. You know, but a simple-minded fucking asshole can't understand that. <laughs> That's difficult, man. So you ever see, yeah, like, like Nathaniel people, they, they, he claimed like he know Cornelius and the Israelite and the Israel scattered. But how can, you ain't never gonna see no Irish dude in this camp. No Scottish dude in this camp? Never. They all carnally mind. As soon as uh, anybody that looks like a white person walks up, they're going to call him the devil. You ever seen that movie uh, with Chris Rock? Uh, was that CB40? Is that what it's called? About the black rappers? CB40. Uh, C C Is it CB40? CB40. Cell Block 4. Block 4. Yeah. But, yeah, it, funny but remember your boy, he got on that black conscious shit in that movie? I'm black, y'all. And he's like, I'm black, y'all. I'm black, y'all. I'm black and I'm black and I'm black, y'all. And I'm biggity, 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 biggity black. <laughs> but that, that, you got these fools, they go out here teaching. And the only thing they talk about for two, two to three hours straight yeah, is Jesus is black. <laughs> Israel's black and that's it. <laughs> and they don't tell you nothing else. They don't tell you no prophecies. They don't tell you the name of the Lord. They don't reveal no mysteries. They don't they don't tell you shit. They just get up there and say, I'm black and I'm black and I'm black, y'all. That's all they talk about. They got a lot of talk about black Oh yeah. Yeah, the black unconscious fools, they they the same. They should go join up with them. Put the Bible down and go join up with Saad Netter and uh Sarah Super Seti. Go join up with them. Don't kick it with your uh, with your boy. Uh, now nah, I kind of like your boy. Uh, what's his name? Bobby Hemmett. <laughs> that dude's out of his fucking mind, man. You ever watch Bobby Hemmett videos? He's gone. He's gone. I, I, I like to watch his videos. You get a good laugh. You know what I'm saying? When you had a drink or two, you want to get a good laugh. Just watch some Bobby Hemmett videos, man. That's some <laughs> funny shit. He be talking that jive talk too. <laughs> Oh shit! The most I gonna fuck him up, man. But I you like that I, same week, man. Before I, that same week, I came into the truth. I was all up in Bobby Hemmings videos, man. Oh, I like me too, man. I was watching Bobby Hemmings. Bobby Hemmings. <laughs> he be talking. He a jive talking, shit talking motherfucker, man. Right, right. So you know he's an Israelite indeed. But he'll reject that. You know what I mean? He specializes on that Hebrew shit. He's talking about uh, we all from. Uh, he's trying to say black people from outer space or something. They're reptilians. They come from the. <laughs> they come from the reptilians or some shit. Oh. Bugged out doctor. Yeah, he bugged out his goddamn mind. That's just like Professor Griff. They all born. Oh yeah, Griff. They're on the same. Griff believe in the reptilians too. The same circle. He's always talking about the blue bloods. Same circle of niggas. They all about money, really. Yeah. They all about money. Now, they hearing that shit. Yeah. Professor Griff, when you on Alex Jones, we know something wrong with you. Yeah, yeah. That motherfucker little, he's like a short motherfucker. Real tight. And they always, he always used that 
public and what does he even do for public enemies? He's supposed to be the, uh, the minister of defense. Minister of security. Of motherfucker, you can't rap. <laughs> you should hear his rock album. Oh, yeah, I never heard it. You don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear that shit. That shit is terrible. No. Oh, I like I, Chuck D. Chuck D's bugged out, too. <laughs> they all gone. Anybody that hangs out with Griff is gone. Yeah, I mean... Hey, this dude is bugged out as well. Oh, he owes you a thousand dollars. Oh yeah, he owes us not me or us. He owes us a thousand dollars. So you got to pay it. And the most I go hold you accountable for that. You know what I'm saying? We entered into an agreement, uh, a contract. You know what I'm saying? You got you got to pay that contract, man. No one. <laughs> Shit, you can put your time for your work. There goes Alex Jones, son. Yeah, but <laughs> you look just like <laughs> He got that same haircut, <laughs> don't he? <laughs> nah, he's too skinny to look like Alex Jones. Yeah, that face looks just like Alex Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, boy, Alex Jones. I can't. He gone, too, man. He gone just like you other, like you black conscience fools, man. All y'all motherfuckers is gone. They serving their purpose, that's it. Riling the people up, riling the people up, causing a great division. They ain't no different than David Icke. Mm -hmm. David, yeah. But David Icke got more troops than them motherfuckers, man. Them motherfuckers is gone. <laughs> Good old soccer star. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that big weirdo. Yeah, he doing bad now, too. That nigga look like he about to drop dead anymore. He said he was the son of God. Sure did. <laughs> yeah, I used to listen to a lot of that bullshit too, they a shit. I saw the eight hour videos. Yeah. Eight, eight hours straight. Yeah, eight hours. <laughs> he be in the motherfucking Jordan Maxwell court. videos. Oh, uh, Jordan Maxwell? Yeah, Jordan's deep though. Jordan, yeah. Jordan deep in all of them. Yeah, though. yeah. He go, Jordan Maxwell yeah, go harder deep in all of them. He go harder than the black yeah. unconscious. Was that the dude that got us hip to the Anunnaki? Is that who he was listening Jordan to? Jordan Maxwell? Well, one, he was one of them. Yeah, because before I was in the truth, I was on that Anunnaki shit. <laughs> I was on I was on that shit. And I didn't know anything about the body. Oh, he's about to get broke. Because when you come to find out, the, all the Anunnaki, they, they all mention by name in the Bible. And I'm going to get one of them. The Bible names those Anunnaki gods by name and condemns them and tells you how evil they were. So you come to find out that this ancient alien shit and the Anunnaki shit you see on TV, it's all a, a ploy by the so-called Jew to trick everybody into worshiping the devil, pretty much. Because who's the main Anunnaki researcher? Was well, Zachariah Sitchin, a so-called Jew, a devil. Yeah, the most high. Well, he's old as hell, too. Another one of them dudes was Eric Von Daniken. And Eric Von Daniken admitted that he was raised by Jesuits. I mean, they exposed themselves. You know what I mean? What was I about to get? Yeah. Because the chief god of the uh, Anunnaki was Marduk, and the Bible names him by name. Uh, where's that? Jeremiah 50? Let me get Jeremiah real quick. Do you want to read that? Let's read that. We'll read all of that. We're going to the destruction of America. Jeremiah, was that 50 or 55? Uh, Marduk, Merodach broken into pieces. But that's one of the Anunnaki is a Marduk. He's one of the chief of the Anunnaki. One of their top guys. And the Bible says he gets broken to pieces. So we ain't... Yeah, go back to the Yeah, we ain't with your Anunnaki shit. We ain't with that ancient alien shit. I'm sorry to talk. Um... This is uh, Jeremiah 50 and 1. The word that the Lord spake against Babylon. So the Lord spake against Babylon. So you come to find out, you watching all these TV shows by the ancient aliens, what do they keep showing you? Cune uh, ancient cuneiform scripts, which all come from ancient Sumeria, AKA Babylon, uh, AKA Shinar. All right, what else do they call it? Mesopotamia. Okay, so read that again. Uh, the word that the Lord spake against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet. And the Chaldeans, they was all sorcerers and warlocks, wizards. 
Magicians, keep on. <laughs> oh shit. Declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard. Oh, that's what we, we publish in the word right now. Publish, go back to the word public. We out in public, publishing the word. Whoa. Standard and conceal not. And we ain't gonna conceal anything. We're gonna let the truth be known. Keep going. Say, Babylon is taken. Baal is confounded. Y'all know uh, America is known as Babylon the Great in the Bible. It's gonna be destroyed. Keep going. Merodach is broken in pieces. Because really, Merodach is the chief god of America. Because Merodach's the same thing as Zeus. Because the, the Romans, well, the Romans called him Jupiter. The Greeks called him Zeus. The Egyptians called him Horus. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the sky god. That's why you got an eagle on the back of a dollar. Yeah, that goes back to Mark Merodach, the ancient Babylonian deity. And that's why America's called Great Babylon, the land of great confusion. Okay, that's why in America two faggots can get married. That's why in America there's no punishment for adultery. There's no Sabbath. Okay, keep going. Mary Doc is broken in pieces. Her idols are confounded. Her images are broken in pieces. Yep. For out of the north there cometh a nation against her, which shall make her land desolate, and none shall dwell therein. Yeah, so America's about to be laid desolate. Remember, the word desolate means, because uh, soul means one, so desolate means there ain't going to be one person here. It's going to be laid desolate. Keep going. In those days and in that time, said the Lord, the children of Israel shall come, they and the children of Judah together, going and weeping, they shall go and seek the Lord thy power. They shall ask the way to Zion with their faces thither with saints. Come and let us join ourselves to the Lord in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. My people have been lost sheep. Yeah, our people is lost sheep. Like the Lord said, he came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. That's what we've been talking about all day since we first started. Keep going. They have turned them away from the mountain. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. The resting place is your house shot. You go up. All that found them have devoured them. And their adversary said, We offend not, because they have sinned against the Lord. The habitation of justice, even the Lord, the hope of their fathers. Remove out of the midst of Babylon and go forth out of the land of the Chaldeans and be as the, as the he goats before the flocks. For lo, I will raise and come to for, for lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country. <laughs> and they shall set themselves in array against her. From this sh she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's what's, yeah, the modern, yeah. Those arrows, that's the missiles. So when Russia's, Russia is up in the north too. But when Russia starts shooting those missiles, once they launch out in silos, they ain't stopping and turning around and going back where they came from. <laughs> And none, none of them shall break their ranks. It's like the book of Joel says. I got a scripture to back that up right there. Boy, that migration heating up, boy. That Middle East, boy. Yeah, Russia been testing new nukes every day, it yeah. seems like. Yeah, America every just tested one, too, a minute, man, uh, two days ago. I heard they be yeah. failing some of that test. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they tested a minute, man, three the other day. That motherfucker looked beautiful taking off, too. Watch, I'm going to read this real quick. You get back to that or whatever. Uh, second Ezra is uh, 16 and 13. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. That's talking about those missiles. When they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. So how do you shoot an arrow from an actual bow and arrow to the end of the world? 
Uh, do you know what an intercontinental ballistic missile is? That's something that goes from one side of the earth to the other side of the earth. That's why it means intercontinental, from one continent to the other. And them motherfuckers got sophisticated uh, uh, radar devices on them. Sophisticated tracking devices. Yep. You know, once they program it in, them motherfuckers know exactly where the fuck to go. Yeah, they're like they blowing up half of like buildings to get ISIS and shit. They'll only like blow up half the building. Yeah, they, yeah, they created ISIS. That's a big joke. Uh, let me read that. Uh, uh, Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backward, even so the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. Okay. Woe is me, woe is me, who shall deliver me in those days? Oh, let me, this all finish it up right here. I want to read all of this, man. The beginning of sorrows and great mournings. So, what's coming to America is great sorrow and mourning. Right now, y'all having a good time. Soon, you're going to be weeping. You're going to be crying. Okay? And we're going to laugh. Y'all going to be crying. We're going to be laughing. Well, we'll be laughing and mad laughter, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. The beginning of famine and great death. So there's gonna be all kind of famine. Cause there's not enough food to feed people. Plus you got the Ebola virus breaking out. And we the, the bo Ebola is gonna come to America. It's, they brought it, they're trying to bring it here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, did y'all hear about the, the Georgia Guy Stones? Yeah, they, yeah, they, they, they updated the Georgia Guy Stones. Cause it, on the Georgia Guidestones, it says they want to keep the population of the world under what? Uh, how, how many millions of people? Uh, like, I forget how many. Uh, like, only how many millions of people do they say what they want to keep? Five hundred. Oh, we'll say five hundred. Five hundred million. Five hundred million. Right. They want to keep their Earth's population of five hundred million, but they just updated the Guidestones and put the date twenty fourteen on it. So. The Ebola broke out in 2014. That, cause I, I believe that the devil is the one to unleash the Ebola. As a, a person unleashed that Ebola virus. Oh yeah, they're right. They're right. That came straight out of laboratory. Okay, because these devils, they got laboratories where they, they got the Black Death, they got the bubonic plague, they got the Ebola virus, all stored away in laboratories, and they ready to use it. Yeah, they selling that those, those viruses. Yeah, they sell. They sell. Want to buy it? So somebody yeah. got these motherfucking viruses packed, man. So they gonna be Ebola in America, and y'all ain't gonna be having fun on that day. Ain't gonna be no more parties. Ain't gonna be no more OSU games. You start bleeding out your dick. Yeah. Laugh at your ass. We gonna laugh at you. <laughs> when you and your babies are dropping dead from Ebola, we gonna laugh at you. <laughs> That's a punishment from the Most High. Free, That's free. horrendous shit. Man. Yeah, that fucking rap bullshit. Nigger shit. That's that a bowl of music. Yeah, that's a bowl of music. You deserve to get a bowl of listening to that shit. The beginning of sorrows and great mornings. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when his evil shall come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. For all these things, they shall not turn away from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. So here it is, you're gonna have a Ebola breaking out, you're gonna have starvation, and people still gonna be wicked. They gonna curse the Lord. These people are so wicked that the Lord gonna jack you up, kill your babies, and you'll curse the Lord for it. And that's what they gonna do. They are foul people. Uh, that's the point on that right there. I mean, we can, we can read all of that, but that's the point. Right. It says, can you patent the disease? Dutch group patent genomes of Middle patent. East Coronavirus. Uh, for, for the coronavirus, virus, which have killed more than 30 people, the outbreak of a novel coronavirus in the Middle East is not only raising worldwide health concerns, but treating questions about the 
the ability of organizations to patent the genetic sequences of diseases for profit. The World Health Organization reports that there have been 53 lab-confirmed cases of infections with a new uh, coronavirus called the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, Mayors of 31 of the people infected with disease, so and so, so and so. Saudi Arabia has seen the most cases, but the infection has also been found in countries such as Tunisia, Jordan, Qatar, as well as Germany and India. Um, what's his name? Um, Trump virus. The Ebola virus and plagues are coming soon. Right here. That's good. That's good. We're gonna laugh. What are you guys here for? Teaching the Bible. Teaching the Bible. Okay. Yes, I do. Do you believe in the Bible? Yes, I do. Oh, that's good. That's what I do. That's what I do. You do? Until <laughs> we start reading it, right? Until we start reading it. Yeah. Until <laughs> yeah. we start reading it. Right? Everybody believes it until we start reading it. Right. 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 The last thing you want to do is bring out a structure. Everybody will run. Call us the devil. Mm -hmm. Wait for the Lord though, right? You're saying wait for Jesus. Damn. You know what comes with that. When the Lord comes, you know what he brings with it? Death. Death and destruction. You know that? I'm aware. Really? I'm aware. Okay. What you gonna do then? I want Jesus. 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 You know Jesus is Greek. Nor did he speak Greek. You know the Latin language? No, he spoke Hebrew. He didn't speak Hebrew. I'm sure, I'm sure the Lord could speak any language right, he wants to. He only spoke Hebrew. But the Bible tells you he spoke Hebrew. So he got a Hebrew name. That's why, you know, they call the Lord the Messiah. No, that's that's comes from a Hebrew word, but it is Hebrew. Which essentially means the anointed one. But in Greek, they didn't call him the Messiah. They called him Christ. Which means the same thing as Messiah. You see, but the Lord's name is not Jesus Christ. That's a title. It's a Greek title. The Lord's name in Hebrew is Yahweh Shah. Okay? That's the name you're supposed to call on. Much better read. Um, what translation do you guys use? That's Acts 26. Let me ask you a question. What, what difference does it make? King James. Oh, King James. Oh, hey, yo, Acts. I'm tripping. Yeah, Acts 26. Yeah. Let me read something to you. We have to go. You ain't got to go right now. Hold on. Uh, be patient. Yeah. Just one scripture. Acts 26, and I'm sorry, 13. At midday, O King, I saw in the way light from heaven above the brightness of the sun shining round about me and them which journeyed with me. And when we were all falling to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecute thou me? It is hard for thee to pick the this That was it. Yeah, the Lord spoke Hebrew. The Bible tells us he spoke Hebrew. He's an Israelite. You know what I'm saying? All the disciples spoke Hebrew. So we are going to the next bar, bar, club. No, we're going to see him again. Where? The movie. A movie? Yeah. You know the same thing that happened, you know, about the story of Noah, right? Yes. You know the people were doing the same thing then. Having mm -hmm. a good time. The you know who makes Having all those movies? Time. So called Jew. He was not a Jew, he was but the devil. Hollywood was owned and controlled by the so called Jews. Let me before you leave, let me give you one scripture. Jew Get Revelation Identity 2 9. My, my Bible's messed up. Get Revelation 2 9. Identity themes. You're a Jew. It's all, all those movies are really essentially mind control. They make all these movies to control your minds and your thoughts. And they can make you cry whenever they want. They can play the right music. This is what you call, they put a magical spell upon you. Yeah, I'll be crying watching the color purple. <laughs> I used to cry watching the color purple. I ain't crying until watching that. Until I woke up to, uh, <laughs> wait a minute, Silly was wicked too. You know? You have one more? We're a little bit, right, that real a little bit late. Revelation 2 and 9. I know thy works and tribulations and poverty. That thou art rich. Talking about us. And 
I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. That's the so-called Jews in the state of Israel. They run control Hollywood. They exactly. control the government. Exactly. They print your, the money that you have in your pocket. They make that. Okay? They make the movies. They tell you what to wear. They tell you what to, how to dress. They tell you what music to like. They, the so-called Jew controls the music industry, Hollywood, the government, the media, the news, everything. In the, Bible, in the Bible, the Bible says what? Which say they are Jews and are not. They are not Jews. But are the synagogue of Satan. They are the synagogue of Satan. Now, you read the Bible, right? Now, Why ain't your hair cover? I mean, I ain't dying to condemn you now. I'm not. But you can always start covering your hair, right? It's cute when a woman covers her hair. Now watch when you go watch the movie, watch how many times they blast me. You're trying to get out of here, huh? Well, I'm just saying. They're late already. Late. Sorry. <laughs> Any movie you watch, they always blast me the Lord in every movie. They'll have homosexual shit. They'll have adultery. They'll have women dressed like hoes. I don't even watch movies no more, bro. They both look good to me, yeah. But they gone. They, they ain't gonna get nothing. They gone. You gonna give his Ebola running by. Oh, that's your dude. Now he's bugged out now. Probably looking for some uh, homosexual sex. Run around without a shirt on. Who run? Why, why would you run around without a shirt on? That's just that's gay. That's that's homo. Yeah. Probably why he's spitting, trying to get all that cum out of his mouth. Yeah, because you're not a yeah a man. You're not supposed to a dude's not supposed to walk around with no shirt. Just like a woman's not supposed to walk around with no shirt. I don't want to see another man's chest and shit. That's something I never liked about wrestling. Is half the wrestlers be all be half naked. They just wear underwear. Yeah. Well, it's not all of them. Some of them like you know the Dudleys and Jeff the, Hardy. Well, Hardy. Well, yeah. He know. Yeah, Hardy. Yeah. That's how I. If I was a wrestler, I'd be wearing the cam. Stone cam Cold. Oh no, he wore like jeans, like, buddy. Yeah, it looked like. Yeah. He wore them fucking. Like Big Boss Trump. Man. Who's <laughs> Big Boss Man? I don't know, he used to dress up like a cop. He was a cop, yeah. Big boss man. Yeah, he died too. Did he die? Yeah. He died before I Agent 50. I see your boy Roman Reigns just got fucked up, had a hernia. You see him? You know Roman Reigns? Yeah. That's good for him. I watch it every once in a while. I mean, a long time. Maybe, look at this. Look at that big faggot over there. Is that a dude? No, that's a girl. Is that a dude or a girl? I'm not so sure. I'm Get that so on camera. Sure. Let, let's. Oh, so you know they got them uh, fake tit balls now. That you can do that. I that's don't know. a dude. I don't know. That's a fucking dude. Yeah, that you got is. Got Adam's apple. There's no that way. Is. Yeah, I could. Ain't got a switch or nothing. No, Just man. Just walking straight up, like you know. Yeah. Look at that shit. Yeah, but that's fucking. That's apple. A it. That's an abomination. It's accepted here. They love oh, that shit. That's confusing. Yeah, that's why it's. Then they wonder why America's called Babylon, because it's confusion. It's, when, when you don't know if it's a man or a woman, I'm confused. That's what you call confusion. They say Brazil is flooded with transvestites. Yeah, yeah the Lord going to destroy Brazil, too. Don't worry. When they, when they got down in Rio de Janeiro, they got, uh, they got the big statue of uh, uh, Caesar Bozier up there with his hands out. That's a big ass I'm surprised the Lord ain't destroyed that shit yet. Like touchdown Jesus. He's a big ass. Yeah. Yeah. Touchdown Jesus got fucked up. He's a big ass Jesus uh, near Cincinnati. Oh yeah. yeah it's, big, big. it's probably where touchdown Jesus you used to be, but they rebuilt it. Yeah, you remember touchdown. They, they rebuilt that. They've been rebuilt it even bigger. That's that's a proud spirit. Mm -hmm. He's a bigger than it was before. <laughs> touchdown Jesus. I wish I could find that old video, man. man. They got like 10 million from insurance, brother. You know the light. Yeah, it's a place right there. It's a statue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Most likely gonna destroy that place, man. Big ass season. <laughs> a big ass season. Man, that thing is on top of a fucking mountain, man. Everybody sees it. And you know, people go to Brazil just to see that. Yeah, just to do a cake flip. See that thing, man. That's what they. Just like they go to the Vatican just to see all that idolatry in the Vatican. Mm -hmm. They go over there, everybody takes turn touching the statue of St. Peter. The Saint, you know what I mean? They got the big obelisk. Everybody's taking pictures of their family in front of Osiris' dick. Mm -hmm. You people are gone, man. And people got the nerve to come up here 
and try to correct us and say that we teaching falsehood. Well, here it is. They celebrate Christmas engaged in idolatry. Foolish people. Foolish. Oh, faggots. And if somebody not, does know anything about the truth, they all bugged out. Like that dude that came up here earlier. You know what I mean? No, I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about the dude that called mm -hmm. me Esau and Paul. You, know, you, you knew all the names of the 12 tribes just... He's like, he read head. all the tribes and he's like, where the fuck you at? Esau. And he took off running like a bitch. It took every last little <laughs> bit of courage in him to say that. <laughs> he took off. Then he, took, he was scared because he already probably knew who we were. <laughs> so he, motherfuckers know better, man. They know we ain't playing out here, man. You motherfuckers should know better not to fuck with us, man. They know the... Uh, I'm calling the, uh, the noise level. They left measure noise. Yeah. Uh, the vibration. Uh, uh, altitude the decimal, or decimal. Uh, decimal. Uh, decimal. 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 Just like that fools on YouTube did the same thing the other day. Yes, I mean, I don't fuck these assholes, man. But that's what happens though when you got people teaching bullshit. You know what I mean? Fuck them, yeah, fuck them. Like, like that dude Nathaniel claim he's teaching the truth. No, he's not. He's causing confusion like everybody else. The motherfuckers think they better than someone else because on the way they look. That's a proud spirit. That's a that's a fucked up spirit to have because you what's the word? You're gonna be damned to the fires of Gahena. You're gonna be destroyed by the missiles. Real good. What happened to the first shall be last and the last shall be first? See, there's scriptures that, that don't agree with their satanic doctrines. You know what I mean? They really don't, man. That's why they don't read them. Uh, they don't never read that they can, they, they can choose. They'll never read that scripture. The first shall be last. Never, ever, ever. Motherfuckers got proud spirits on them. They so sure that they getting saved and everybody else is getting destroyed. That's what makes them the thing so, so wicked. Because he's clever with the scripture. Yeah. He's cleverly wicked. And he's cleverly wicked than all the motherfuckers out there. All of them. He's the top devil. Well, because like he uses appearance. Mm -hmm. He gets them with the flash and the razzle and dazzle. You know, I mean, he got the razzle dazzle coming out with the perfectly clean garments. You know what I'm saying? He got springes on everything he wears. But the Lord talk about that. Say you uh, get you enlarge your borders. They're blue or something with your phylacteries and all that. Yeah. That's in Matthew 23. Oh yeah. So the Lord ain't with that shit, man. With that outward appearance. That's actually something the Lord hates more than anything. Is a carnally minded fool. Soon the Lord gonna give us power. We're gonna be killing people, man. We, we gonna be, become mass murderers. Not murderers, killers. Because murder is a sin. That's not the word I wanted to use. When the Lord gives us our spiritual power, He's gonna give us actual spiritual power. And we're going to go on a fucking rampage, okay? We're going to be ripping people's heads off and shit with, with one hand. That's right. Could you imagine clotheslining somebody and popping their head off from a clothesline? God damn. Capitate a motherfucker with a clothesline? That's the type of power the Lord's going to give us. That's right. If you, if you disagree with me, we can go to Jeremiah. I'm there now. That's oh. the Jeremiah 15, 20. Oh, go ahead. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. Well, this is really talking about the heathens. We're going to break the heathens to pieces. But when you read the story up in Numbers. Well, what's, your, what's the Levi, bro? What's the Levi in Numbers? I should know his name, man. Man, the Lord going to jack me up for this one. When, when, when he, he, he caught, he caught uh, one of the Israelites uh, getting down 
Israelite man messing with a heathen woman and he speared both of them with one spear. Killed them yeah. on the spot. I, I can get it. It's a number. Is it 15, 20? 50. 50. 50. No, 51. Uh, just like last week, you was reading that. Uh, uh, what you got? What kind of Bible is that? Is that a King James? Yeah. All right. I was talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. Yeah, go ahead, read it. Right. Jeremiah 51, verse 20. Thou art my battle axe, the weapons of war. But with thee will I break into pieces the nations. With thee will I score the kingdom. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's too loud. Go ahead. With thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. With thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. Oh yeah, so the modern chariot and rider, that's a tank. You know what I'm saying? Humvees, armored vehicles. You ever watch the Incredible Hulk? Man, we, we would, or play, you ever play an Incredible Hulk video game? I mean, he, he, he had oh, God. a bunch of motherfucking oh, tank. What was that? You smell that? Oh, fuck. You smell that? That was that truck, it was. God damn. God damn. It smelled like fucking. It's rotten animals, man. Yeah, that was dead. That was dead. Yep. God, God that damn. was fucking death, dude. Yeah, that's death. Oh, death. fuck. That's how death smells. It probably me. came from the veterinary it clinic or something. It was a bitch on. Uh, I can't remember where she is. Massachusetts or somewhere. I don't remember, but. Oh, man. They found four dead fetus bodies just sitting in the, in the house, man. With, with shit. I heard about it. Cat shit. They're trying to spread Ebola. In, this house, man. and the city came in and said that the house is still so bad that they, they, they got to tear it down now, man. Yeah, you can't get rid of that. Yep. Yep. And she was living up in this house. Oh, man. She's good, too. Like she's probably practicing witchcraft up in that crib, man. There's been, there was four feet, four dead fetus and four dead babies, man. Oh, hell no. There was something going on up in that house, man. Yeah, she looked like she looked a little Latino, Latino in her, too. That's crazy, man. That's fucking crazy. That should be fucking illegal. Driving down the street with that shit, Smelling like that. They probably just came from, like, Pet Cemetery or something. They probably scoop up roadkill. Came out the hood, that, uh, empty the motherfucking Negro, those niggas dumpster. That's what they eat with those niggas. These niggas eating all kind of foul shit. A nigga eat raccoon, eat possum. Dog leg. Remember that nigga that was homeless out here said he eat possum? Yeah, he said, I eat it from the root to the tutor, baby. A possum, a giant rat. He said, I don't give a damn what it is, I eat it. <laughs> right, right. He said, I eat that motherfucker. He died, he didn't eat goddamn thing. He didn't eat goddamn thing. That video's still up on Vimeo. <laughs> Vimeo. He didn't eat any goddamn thing. And the niggas that had that shit sitting in their fridge still start smelling like that. Man, these people are foul, man. Foul as all fucking hell. That's why you got people to try to, they try to use an excuse of uh, why they can have long hair and shit. They be like, ah, the Nazarites had long hair. Took a bow, yeah, know. but if you came across any dead thing, you had to start over. You had to shave all your shit and start over. So you, it's impossible to do that in this country. Okay, that's impossible. So what are you guys doing? Chilling. Teaching a Bible. You got a problem with that? No, I'm just fucking. <laughs> you believe in a Bible? Yeah, I've been a Christian all my life. Oh, that's, that's good. What? That's good. What do you think about America? Do you think America's a cop here? Do you think America is a God-fearing nation? No. You think God loves America? Yeah. He, he does. Yeah. Can you show me a scripture for that? Christian, all your life. It doesn't. It never says in the Bible that he hates people. Oh. oh. Yes, it does. Many oh. times. Right. I got a scripture for you. Oh. Right. Don't take off running. I got oh, get another battery out. It's getting dark out there. Oh, oh man. man. See shit. You get John 316 out of this month. <laughs> have you read John 316 before? Yes, I have. That's your favorite scripture. So God loves the world, don't he?